Alex Stepp and I am a public horticulture major here at Oklahoma State University. I also work for the Botanic Garden. Here are your horticulture tips for April. Fruit and nut tips for April are, don't spray insecticides during fruit tree bloom or pollination may be affected. Disease sprays can continue according to schedule and label directions. Control cedar, cedar apple rust. When the orange jelly galls are visible on juniper, follow a rain, begin treating apple and crab apple trees with a fungicide. Fire blight bacterial disease can be controlled at this time. Plant disease resistant varieties to avoid diseases. Continue spray schedules for disease prone fruit and pine trees. Tree and shrub tips for April are proper watering of newly planted trees and shrubs often means the difference between success and replacement. Remove any winter damaged branches or plants that have not begun to grow. Prune spring flowering plants as soon as they are finished blooming. Control of powdery mildew disease can be done with early detection and regular treatment. Many new plant cultivars are resistant. Leaf spot diseases can cause premature death of foliage and reduce plant vigor. Lawn tips for April are warm season grass lawns can be established beginning late April from sprigs, plugs, or sod. Fertilizer programs can be begin for warm season grasses in April. Mowing of warm season lawns can begin now. Cutting height for Bermuda and Zoysia should be one to one and a half inches high and buffalo grass one and a half to three inches high. Damage from spring dead spot disease becomes visible in Bermuda grass. Perform practices that promote grass recovery do not spray fungicides at this time for spring dead spot disease control. Grub damage can be visible in lawns at this time. Check for the presence of grubs before ever applying any insecticide treatment. Apply appropriate soil insecticide if white grubs are a problem. Water product into soil. Flower tips for April are, most bedding plants, summer flowering bulbs, and annual flower seeds can be planted after danger of frost. This happens around mid-April in most of Oklahoma. Hold off mulching these crops until spring rains subside and soil temperatures warm up. Warm season annuals should not be planted until soil temperatures are in the low 60s. Harden off transplants outside in partial protection from sun and wind prior to planting. Let spring flowering bulb foliage remain as long as possible before removing it. Vegetable tips for April are, wait a little longer for it to warm up before planting cucurbit crops and okra. Plant vegetable crops in successive plantings to ensure a steady supply of produce rather than harvesting all at once. Cover cucurbit crops with a floating row cover to keep out insect pests. Remove during bloom time. Watch for cutworm damage and add flea beetle scouting to your list of activities in the vegetable garden. Some additional horticulture tips for April are hummingbirds arrive in Oklahoma in early April. Get your bird feeders ready using one part sugar to four parts water. Do not use red food coloring. Keep the bird feeder filled during the summer and help control insects at the same time. Lace bugs, aphids, spider mites, bagworms, etc. can start popping up in the landscape and garden later this month. Keep a close eye on all plants and use mechanical, cultural, and biological control options first. Be alert for both insects, pests, and predators. Some pests can be handpicked without using a pesticide. Do not spray if predators such as lady beetles are present. Spray only when there are too few predators to be effective. For other information on horticulture and landscape architecture majors, visit our departmental website.